A very warm welcome to the tradingmentors.com. This is Chris here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's Wednesday, the 16th of November, just gone three o'clock in the UK. And so we're going to go through the midweek Forex forecast. And this is what we go through for those people who are new to my YouTube channel. This is the midweek Forex forecast. I do a weekly Forex forecast on a Sunday usually. And I also do an everyday analysis called the daily video analysis where I trade the markets live and do the analysis for you during the New York session. So what we're going to go through today. So we're going to look at the DXY. This is vital to understand where the US dollar goes next. And there's some interesting setups which look really good. The futures contracts, we want to find the weakest futures contracts and the strongest. So that combination gives us the edge over any retail trader. We look at the main FX and the super trends. What is a super trend? That's the first question. Um, so this is where we have strong buyers and strong sells. And then we're going to have a look at double tops to get a better understanding, double bottoms to get a better understanding of how we trade them, where we put our stops and also where we put our targets. Because if you're new to the markets, you need to understand the basics. We'll have a look at gold, silver and oil looking good. And the indices, well, we'll have a look at those as well. And I'll also, get, at the end of this video, look at my best trades for the rest of this week. Don't forget that we, we've got 50% off VIP, DVA, the daily video analysis and advanced pro charts. So take advantage of that. That's up until the 28th of November. Now, during the daily video analysis, we go close to the markets to see what's going on. So the targets will be different from the weekly analysis because we're looking at shorter time frames. So this is the DXY. We can see the last couple of days I've been talking about this and it has absolutely gone nowhere. Now, this could be forming a base. This could be forming a base. So if it doesn't break down from 106.13, 106.38 is the number now, then it could simply go up. But we don't trade what we think, we trade what we see. So what I see here is a short position, not confirmed yet. Not all the sellers are in yet. And of course, if it does, if all the sellers do come in at some stage, then of course, we've got a target of 103.95 for the next few days. Euro futures, let's go on to the futures. So what I do, if you've not been into my YouTube before, then I go down the list here. So we go through to start the DXY, the most important one, but also equally important is the futures contracts. Then I go into in indices, then commodities, then into the Forex. So I hope you're going to enjoy this video. <coughs> so we're using the advanced pro charts as some of you have these. So it's a great learning tool to learn what's going on in the markets, first of all, and how to use the tools as well. So Euro FX futures, we're seeing some topping out here. This is definitely not a sell, as you can see. So it's probably going to go to once we get the buy signal going to 106.30, somewhere around that figure. As I mentioned during the last few days is sterling is looking stronger in the futures market, but I'm not totally convinced of this. This price has now come up to the 50 day moving average, so it doesn't really tell us an awful lot except that it may be just getting ready to roll over again. We, don't forget, we've got the budget tomorrow out of the UK, so that will have an impact on sterling. So I'm only looking for certain pairs, pound yen being one of them. I'm going to go over that in a minute and show you why I traded that. But the futures market is looking, but we got to wait. <laughs> If you've been following me on the weekly analysis, then the charts will look different because we're closer to them. They're a bit more busy. This is the Aussie futures. And as you can see, we've got a fresh sell on the Aussie and all going down. So we're looking for weaker Aussie. On to the Japanese yen futures. And this again is going sideways. This week has been a really funny week. Hard to make head or tail of it, to be honest with you. We've got no breakouts. It's uh, certainly consolidating. But nonetheless, if we get a break of this blue line here, 007252, just above that, 
then it's going to target 007476. So we're expecting this to go up in the next few days. So weak Aussie, strong yen. Can you guess what we'll be looking at? <laughs> this is Canadian futures and we've got a double bottom here. I love double bottoms, as you may well know by, by now. And they are highly reliable, highly profitable, and they have massive risk to rewards. So don't miss out on these trades if you can get into them and have the charts. You're going to get a lot more signals because I'm not looking at my charts all day. However, this is the Canadian futures. And as we can see, had a bounce off from here and going to target of 4268. Now, if you're not going to trade the double bottoms, then it's always good to be aware that they're there and they exist. This is what I put into Telegram. So whenever there's a double bottom or a double top, I'll let you know how you trade it is up to you. I trade it at the very bottom. I will get in really quick. And what will happen is it the, the impression will be at the point of entry is the price is going the opposite way to what you want to go, if that makes any sense. But eventually it will give way. Uh, well, it should give way. It, don't, it won't always give way because obviously it can simply, in this case with the Swiss futures, it could just keep simply go down and continue down. And then the double bottom no longer exists. It's broken out that support area. So that's one way I do it. And the other way to do it is to trade the bre the neckline, which is here, 10214. So as this breaks up above it, then it's highly likely it's going to continue into that reversal. Because this is a, the reversal at the double bottom. That's your initial target. And the break above that is a continuation of that uh, new trend. So Swiss. Swiss futures, as you can see, consolidating, not really much going on. We just have to wait and see where this is going to go now. Gold futures, uh, again, a few weeks ago, we had a double bottom, didn't we? If you remember, broke out here, our target done very well. This is the gold futures and continued upwards as we expected. And we have a target here, 53562 for the next few days. On to the indices now, the US 30, Dow Jones. Um, hedging my bets here a little bit. <laughs> because it's consolidating, there's a 50-50 chance of it going up. There's a 50-50 chance of it going down. So we're not trading this, but nonetheless, it's probably going to go down as, as it consolidates and has a pullback to 32.911, where it might find support. This is a central pivot. If it stays above that, then it remains bullish. Any time below that, then it remains negative. However, a break above 34,066 is then going to head for 35,122. So let me put, uh, I'm going to put an alert there. So if you right click onto the chart, add alert, it will come up. There we go. So I want an email, I want a pop up, I want an alert, a sound alert. So at that point, I'm going to get an alert, I'm going to get an email wherever I am, and then I can have a look and trade it if I need to. Now the Dow, Dow Jones, US 30, usually heads the way for all other indices. So they're all doing similar things by consolidating at the moment. Once we get the breakout, I'll let you know in Telegram and on the daily video analysis. If you're in it, if you're not signed up for it, why not? Come on, guys. Um, so this is Bitcoin. I don't trade Bitcoin, but nonetheless, I know some of you do. We had a double bottom and our target for the next few days, $18,167. On to oil now. I know some of you love oil and we've done well with oil in the last couple of weeks. We had a nice big double top, didn't we? here which is exactly what we're looking for and the most reliable double tops double bottoms are on the four hour chart these are fantastic and they're not coming around this week so much because markets aren't doing much but nonetheless they are fantastic value for money and the risk for reward if you get in at the very top is amazing so now well what do i say about oil 8508 
We have a double bottom, but it's a very weak one. I'm still on the I'm still selling this. I'm not in it at all at the moment, but because I, I don't, don't like the look of this. However, there's a sell signal here. There's a sell signal here. There's a sell signal here. So any sell signal below the black line is highly significant. Any buys above the black line is highly significant and you will make money. So if you want to become a professional oil trader, then come and see me, join me and I'll show you exactly how to do that but our target for the next few days is $82.50 now on the weekly analysis which I've done the weekend my target is $80 but the safest target for the next few days is $82.50 while the DXY is consolidating while all the markets are consolidating gold will consolidate now there have been opportunities this morning with gold scalping using the software actually I'll go into that in a minute after this but as you can see the price has reached 177 as I expected on posted in the telegram channel and the target for this week is 1833.27 now it might not get there this week it may take time and it may even turn again but I'll let you know about that tomorrow there was a buying opportunity here on the euro hopefully you got that I posted this in telegram and well what can I say consolidation is everywhere but however the price is holding above 10370 and as long as it does this is going to target 10610 nice round figure 10600 would be a nice target to go by remember trade what you see not what you think <laughs> I've been telling myself that for 30 years um, what could happen, of course, is that there is a support here, which is forming support on the US yen. Could go up, but it's not going up yet. There's no indications of that, so we have to go short. Our target of the last few days is 138.44. That's been hit. And our next target is 133.90. Let's call it 134. Uh, but uh, we'll have to wait and see where this goes next. Highly likely to fall down. Now, this is controversial, isn't it? A strong US dollar, whatever next. <laughs> We've got a double bottom on the US Canadian dollar. Um, but, we, you know, it's not worth trading this because it's like uh, 133.36. It's like 50 pips. It's not even worth, there's no risk to reward in it, in other words. However, what's interesting is if we see the DXY confirm a stronger dollar, risk off then we could see this breakout here on the US Canadian so we will be keeping an eye on this and if we go to the tools as we can see the histogram is gone green already we've got some buyers lining up but we've got two buyers and two sellers so that's not good enough for us we have to have all the sellers in and the MACD histogram as well red as well or green if it's a buy so let me just show you an example for a buy on the euro as an example. So you can see all the buyers in here. So one, two, three, four, five buy that sets of buyers coming in. MACD histogram is up and everything's green background and even the buy signal. Buy signal, um, very simple to follow. Now, of course, we're not seeing that at the moment. So that's one to watch if we do find the DXY turn round in the next few days. Um, Aussie US dollar, this is looking good. Above the black line, support above 0 0.6718, uh, 6720 thereabouts. As long as it stays above there, it's going to target 0 0.688. What is that? 6883 right onto the yens now this uh, these are getting interesting new zealand yen 8594 but as you can see this correction and it is simply a correction is taking place now and we're expecting a break down maybe in the next few hours it's only half past three in the afternoon so we're this is new york session low volumes but 
could wake up in the next few hours and if we do then we wait for this price to break down of this blue line these are automatically driven and drawn onto your advanced pro chart so you don't need to draw the, draw these they done for you so this is a lazy man's way to trading <laughs> And the first target is going to be 83.99. Next target is going to, on the extension is going to be 82.20. So look out for that. It's going to be red hot. I think there's going to be a big move in the end. Congratulations if you traded the double top on the Aussie yen as I posted in Telegram. And the perfect trade if you like. So and this is more common than you think when it hits target. And this is acting as support now, this bottom area here and so that was a nice I'm just trying to work out how many pips were 93 hit 93 didn't it so there's about 250 pips or so better than a poke in the eye with a stick um so now again we're waiting for the breakdown of the yens not seeing it yet the pound yen has started to make a move but it's now mixed and as we can see here this is holding support so any break of this support line here and the central pivot here at uh, 93.86 current price is 94.15 then we can expect further downside push down to 91.40 congratulations if you traded the canadian yen if you have the charts you have every opportunity of getting these now what tends to happen this is a four hour chart as you can see and of course this is very slow you know this is uh this happened on the 21st of october so nearly a month ago and sometimes you just have to wait for it to hit target it's just one of those things you just hold it because your risk to reward is so massive your you can actually move up quite easy, break even and go but um this would have hit target let's work out how much you could have won well that's 572 pips then so of course it's not going to happen overnight and you, you it's just one of those things where you have to hold on tight if you're new to this then of course it's hard isn't it because at some stage you might think oh that's a lot of money i'm going to take that off the table but of course it's you've got plenty of opportunities to get into this so there's the cell there at the top there's a cell there at the top there's a cell there at the top so you could even dare i say it add to your positions but that's a brave man isn't it on to double tops and double bottoms we had a double bottom on the aussie swiss didn't quite reach target i don't know if you noticed that we got a target of this area here the neckline of 64.20 let's see what's going on now I might take the profits off not much going on so Aussie Swiss I'm quite happy to take off I've got lots of opportunities coming in so let's take that off and a small profit so we've got Aussie yen I've gone short that early and euro dollar and pound yen so pound yen I'll show you now So final one for today. Oh, I'm going to go into the gold software just to show you what's going on there. Um, so this is pound yen. We had a nice double top. We sold it up at the top here, 166.18. You want to try and get in as early as possible. Don't be worried that the price is going up because it will start to falter at the very top. You can wait for the sell signal, but then your risk reward is much less. So if you're feeling like more aggressive, the software will tell you when a double top arrives or a double bottom arrives in advance. Now what you do is you just draw a line on here. So you just go to, let's take this off just so I can show you. So all you do, now this will say is a double top, even though it might not have reached a double top. 
if you see what I mean. So what can happen, of course, is it'd be down here. It's not quite reached it, but it's drawing a double top for you to let you know. So what you do there is draw a line there and then you set a, a, a limit order to sell at that point there, 166.21. Have a nice wide stop. So 166 above that area there. I had it 166.50 about there. And your risk reward in this instance is 2.48. So it's a nice risk reward. And it might take a couple of days to reach the target. But so what? Doesn't matter. And we're up some, what are we? Um, 70 pips, 60, 70 pips. So, and again, you don't have to watch it. It's just one of those things. You set the stop, you set the target, just let it go. Let's go to the gold software. So this is the gold scalping software we use in the advanced pro charts. And uh, there's a couple of points here which are important. We're seeing consolidation. We're not seeing any movement. Not going to say it again, it's just one of those days, it's one of those weeks where nothing really happens. And so what we wait for is a buy signal. I posted this this morning in Telegram. When you had a buying opportunity, we bought it, I don't know, made 40 pips or so. It doesn't really matter, but it's a, a nice profit nonetheless. And so now we have a sell signal, but the sell signal is above the blue line. This is insignificant. Okay, insignificant insignificant in his you, you get the picture so what you in a sell situation we haven't had one for a while so you get these signals on your charts by buy buy and any buy above the blue line is a strong buy strong buy and you can scout this all day long make a lot of money and then if you use compounding then that's a, another thing altogether you can make even more money. So the thing to look out for is that. The other thing to look out for is the stochastic. This is specially designed, so uh, it's not a normal stochastic. For the settings are very important in that what we're looking for, we don't want to be trading here. So if we get a buy signal here, when both stochastics are overbought, this is dangerous. The price is going to go down. And if you trade it here, that's OK, because the left one, if you see that lining up there, is up, pointing up. And the buy signal tells us here that there's a buy. And on the left, there's a buy above the blue line as well. So don't be concerned about this stochastic, which has special settings being overbought because it's only when both are overbought does the price come down even though it uh, consolidates and so on it just it's not good trading strategy so when it becomes oversold that's really important because then it's highly likely at some stage it's going to give way and continue upwards in this instance so that combination now here on the right, you can see these lines here. These are support lines and a double support line indicates that the price is going to continue up and they are your trailing stops if that's what you want to use them for. Whenever we see the price move in between these lines and these are calculated using the average true range for the day, then it's consolidating. It is not going to make any move until it breaks out of the top or the bottom. So once it breaks out of both of those, then you can safely say this is going to go higher. And that doesn't look like a lot. But uh, once, sorry, 1776 go to 1784. So, you know, 80 pips is good. So we can see, safely say now that the price is mixed and we won't be trading this this afternoon. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be doing this every day if you are in the membership and I'll be happy to have you on board if you're not already. Have a wonderful day.